Saturday starter? Yeah, Burns. <laughs> who, who won the... Uh, I did. The, what was the pot? Nothing. Now you wish it was. I said yeah. if I put in 20, she wouldn't do it. Now look. Oh, why? Not Esselman this year. Next year. You know he's coaching? San Diego. It's awesome. Yeah, we saw him in San Diego, too. Um, what a great guy. Uh, just because it's lining up to beginning of the year and we're just kind of trying to put guys in places and this is something we, you know, it's just he's on turn, bottom line. Two, three innings around there. Yeah. Does so that give him the inside track for opening day star? We'll see. I'm not sure yet. We've seen Bradish throw a little bit. How's he, how's he kind of feeling with, with some of the short toss? Yeah, it feels good. Yep. Everything going, going well, pro, uh, progressing nicely, and, and he's feeling good after he's playing catch. But seriously, a lot of times you have picked guys who were not going to be in, in the starting rotation to, uh, you know, to, to start. Are you basically going to are you basically going to go with the guys who were who you think are going to be in the starting rotation to, to start Grapefruit League games? Well, the majority of the time, I I, I think that everybody puts way too much into um, starting games and Grapefruit League games from the standpoint of your the guys that you know you're going to be in the rotation. You're mapping out what their days are for the season. And so, you know, certain guys line up on certain days. And then when you need somebody on a certain day, or like, then you fill somebody in. But, um, you know, from a burn standpoint, it's just lining him up for where we see him in the season, as well as everybody else. Gunner, it looks like he's trending still in the right direction with the oblique. Yeah. Yep, he's uh, doing some ground ball stuff and he's been taking some batting practice in the cage, and, and he's going to be just fine. Are you planning to give Heston Kerstat a lot of time in the outfield uh, during uh, during these games? Yeah. Both corners play a lot. You get a lot of the bats. Is that a key for him, improving his defense this spring? Just like every young player, every player we have, yeah. Um, you know, defense is important to us. We put a lot of put a premium on, on on playing the defense we played the last couple of years. That's why we've won a lot of games. And um, you know, Heston's uh, just doesn't have the major league experience really in the corner outfield. So we're going to give him all the experience we can out here and let him get a lot of at bats. Any first base? Uh, probably not this spring. Yeah, I just, you know, we talked the other day and when we sent him out there at the end of the year, it's, it's um, I think it's just a learning experience, you know, and, and it's uh, more normal than not to have a young player come up and, and um, you know, go through some adversity early. I think he's going to be better for it. Um, and, I, you know, he learned a lot from not only offensively but defensively his time in the big leagues. and. Uh, I think it was motivating for him, you know, this off season also trying to make some swing adjustments and some things. But he come, he's come out here in camp and he's looked really good, and and uh, I like the adjustments he's made. And he's going to get every, you know, he's going to get a lot of opportunity in this camp to to show what he can do. Do you think that motivation can help a young guy sort of, you know, try to wash away that experience and bring him with a little more uh, uh, of an itch to to show what he can do? Well, I I just think it's, it's it's all part of being a young player and learning what the big leagues is like. You just cannot replicate the big league big league pitching. Triple A's not even close. And so, um, you if guys come up and struggle a little bit. I think that's you almost expect that. Um, we've had a couple of guys come up and not struggle, which has kind of been rare, honestly. And so, it's uh, it's not easy to do, especially when you're playing on a you know on a good team with playing playoff type. Of games and and you know, tough ballparks to play in. It's just an adjustment that young players have to go through. And and um, you know Colton had his struggles a little bit last year, but but I think it's going to help him out in the long run. Do you think young players who are trying to make a team approach spring training differently in terms of caring more about results? I mean, the guys who are locked in the yeah. team are going to go out there and work on what they need to work on, take their bats, and just right. get themselves ready for the season. And they don't care what their batting average yeah. is like in spring training. Yeah, I've seen it both ways. I've seen some young players, you know, that, that are having really good careers right now really struggle in spring because they're pressing or they're trying to make a team or they're trying to do too too much. Um, and, you know, I think that's very, very natural. I, I try to, you know, I've talked to all these guys a little bit about just 
take the best of bats you possibly can. It's still early. You're not going to make a club on March 4th. And um, just continue to try to improve throughout camp, and then we'll see what you know. We'll see how the, what the roster looks like at that point. But I just want guys to play easy in spring training and play um, just showcase what they can do without trying to do more than they can do. What impresses you most about his game in general? Colton. Um, well, he can play three spots in the outfield. He, you know, it's a, for a big guy. He can play center field. I like the way he runs. I like the way he throws. Uh, he's got some power. I think he's a hitter first. He's going to be able to take walks. So there's a lot of there's a lot of things to like about his game.